Okay, I think I got everything. And the music is too dang loud, so we gotta reduce that a little bit. Oh God, I knew they were all ready. I knew that they were all ready for this. I knew the plan was here. <laughs> It was a coordinated effort. One moment, first of all. Heck you, Bojaz. <laughs> and also, happy birthday, you big nerd. Alright, really quickly through all the stuffs. Uh, Bells, congratulations on first. Brian, congratulations on second. And Wayne, congratulations on third. Cobalt, thank you so much for the raid. Very much appreciate it. I will do the hydrate, the push-ups, and the stretch in a second. Frostbite, thank you. Uh, Frostbite, uh, bites, thank you for the follow. Heatless, thank you for the follow. Oh, and then finally, hello bells, hello Erwin, hello Cobalt, hello Pavlov, hello Brian, hello Kaikart, hello Syrinx, hello Bojaz, hello the Nick's best thing, hello Trash Cat Tash, hello Heatless, hello Frostbite. Ah! Oh, okay, I think I got everything. Ah! And I'm gonna do the hydrate. And I'm gonna do the stretch, and by the, and while we do that, hello bedheads and sleepy breads, welcome back to another sleepover for Saturday where we are ah! doing art. Thank you so much for the welcome. follow the next best thing. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, hydrated. We do the super fast stretch, because Cobalt freaking Cobalt got this on lockdown. So we're going up, we're going to the side, we're going to the other side. We're reaching back. Oh, oh God gave ball. you an old sweet and that's fine. Still he gave me a big mess at bedtime. Why? Why, Tits? Why did you break for no reason? And then we shake out our wrists. All right, quick 10 push-ups, and then I will do the fake cool fact redeem. I will be right back. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I should have known it was going to be like this. And a fake cool fact as to why you aren't at my birthday, or I'm not at your birthday party. Well, you see, Bojaz, there is such things as transportation. And unfortunately, despite the fact that I have indeed hotwired a car and knocked out the driver so that I could bring a, a number two to your party, it would seem that my hotwired car was hot wired, it was counter hot wired, and then was stolen, and it was the only car in the entire parking lot. So, I figured I would just do an art stream instead. <laughs> you were gonna bring. <laughs> no, a second isn't like, a, you know, a, 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 what do you call it? A guest, a secondary individual. Comes back, reads the, sa the same delayed message for eight times. I'm sorry? Erwin, are you okay? Did I do bad? <laughs> Sounds like you're a party pooper. Mwah. Oh, how does that go again? What, she poops at the party? Jennifer, I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you can't just do that. Is that just something they do here? <laughs> or however the heck that little video goes. Like how you need to counter hot wire in order to steal a car again. Well, that's how it works, Bells. <laughs> oh yeah, Erwan. There, there, there. There's a group that's having a little party right now for birthday slash Canada Day, and they were prepared. They were ready. They had their phones out. They had their phasers set to stunning, and they freaking. Ruined me. 
Lies, I just found you today. It was spontaneous. Fascinating. Then perhaps one out of the... I don't remember how many peeps. I think it was six. Out of the six peeps, one of them was just literally one of those one in a billion the universe decided to have a sense of humor that day. Ah, <laughs> oh, but hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope that you guys are having a good day. Happy Canada Day to those who are celebrating. Happy birthday, Bojaz. I think technically your birthday was a few days ago, but still happy birthday nonetheless. And hello, Nini. How are you? Ugh. So I have no ideas for today on a side note. I have been pondering being like fashion, brilliant, dynamic. Those are our, our three words for the day. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. Pavlov! Did I say hello to Pavlov? Pavlov, if I didn't say hello to you, I am so sorry. Hello, Pavlov. Someone found the song. I don't understand. Which song in particular? There are many songs in the world. Many. The one we were... Oh my god, they found the song? Was it a good song at least? Pavlov, was it a good song? Helped out with some yard work and then went to the community pool for the first time this year. Hey, yeah, Brian. I hope you had a good time. Sad thing is that I saw the thumbnail and dismissed it as not be. Wait, we passed it? Is that what you're saying? And hello, you Vitrify. Thank you so much for the resub. Happy Canada Day. Happy birthday, Aww. Canada. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Vitrify. I'm sure Canada appreciates it. Maybe I should throw a handful of pennies out my window so that they sink into the Canada ground and that will be Canada's, I don't know, spending money. <laughs> I'll yell look out below before doing so, of course. You gotta, you gotta be safe about these things. Ah! Happy B-Day, Canada. Happy B-Day, Canada. Canada. Oh, that's right. Canada. Gotta add that w w specific little Dutch accent there. Canada. Not Canada. Canada. It's not eh, it's ah. I do not deserve a hype train, Erwan. Are you crazy? Canada. I don't know how to say that next part. Te. 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 te Tetsuo? Tetsuo? I don't know what Here Tetsuo is. Happiest of birthdays to Bojas and Canada. Will SL3 A, Will SL3 A, Will SL3 A. I'm trying to look upset. Some toast for Canada Day. Some toes? <laughs> Why are toes so sharp? Cobalt? Why are they so sharp? Oh god, well, no, we can't even make it to level one hype train. That's the ultimate number. Nobody do nothing. We're gonna let this hype train fail. <laughs> At least I think... I still don't fully understand how hype train works. I always feel like hype train is like... Just like, this is the level one hype train, but like, you need to get the full percentage bar in order to have a level one hype train? Or maybe I'm wrong? I'm mad. Also, no. there's a bit on my head. Eh. No, get out of here, bit. Bit, get out of here. Shoo. There we go. While we're thinking of art streams, I look forward to Kachu's art stream tomorrow. Same, Brian. And I hope I'll have something for it. Yeah, you gotta fill it up for at least level one. Gotcha. Well, now we're at three quarters, and that's pretty neato. Also, yeah, I have no ideas. I don't know. I don't know what we're. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're drawing. I had kind of an idea, cause like the dynamic makes me think of like a dynamic pose, but like I can't draw people, for the life of me, especially since most dynamic poses are. Like foreshortening. You know, like, the whole idea of like here's where the arm starts and then, here's where the arm ends and you gotta. But then, like, you gotta account for the fact that there's, like, 
the bicep and the, the divot to the actual forearm, and then you've got, like, I don't know. A fist. <laughs> I'm gonna do that whole thing. I don't understand how that shit works. Not that I can even draw to begin with. Hey, failure by winning, how's it going? Currently running on two cups of coffee and, oh God, the docile, docile tones of, ah! Hey, Moran, you being a bum? Uno mus. I don't know what Uno mus is. I don't know what's happening. The Dustlet Tones of Paper Mario Music, uh, as uploaded by Silva Gunner. I think I'm saying that correctly. Nice. Sounds like a good time to me. Draw a chaotic rocker who travels the universe for a thousand years, filling it with life, ah! and then eventually, event and it, until its eventual destruction. Is that what the song is about? Wow! I bet is that what the song is about, uh, Pavlov? I submit one of my own works of art. Art week a while ago. I hope everyone likes it. Hell yeah, Brian. I'm trying to get level one hype train filled. Oh, I know what you're trying to do, Arrowan. But joke's on you. The clock ticks ever down. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> Dang it, Arrowan. Don't waste your bits on me. Hey, Blue. How's it going? Oh, Pavlov, you are a... Oh, God. Oh, Wait. God. <laughs> and I died. I'm my edge. I'm very upset right now, but also thank you, everybody, for the, for the contributions. It's very kind of you. But I am mad, though. Don't praise him, Arrowan. This is what he wants. <laughs> okay, it does work. Just It feels like it's weaker than it should be, and I don't know why. That's wrong. I don't want anyone to pat my head and call me a good boy. Hmm, pressing X to doubt right now. I'm trying to do uh, one eye up, one eye close, and one eye open, but it's kind of difficult to do. Model's just not quite there. We're here. Yes, how dare we love and support you, Will. Yeah, exactly, Arrowin. What the hell? What's even happening? What would you even do that for? Also, I forgot to put the glove on. I better do that before a liar shows up, should she show up, because otherwise I'll get an earful of just like, why would you not do that? I almost got this, 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 this fella on. There we go. There we go. So I don't know if I like the glove, but you know, my character has it. Do I, can I, can I go up enough to do that? I don't think I can. No, but I will take all the head pads of good voice for you, Bella. <laughs> I forgot. I, look, my intro today was very, very, very scuff. I just tried my best to start at a reasonable time. And then I was in Cobalt's stream just kind of listening while I was trying to get ready. And then he's just like, oh, look, Will. And I'm like, ah, crap. <laughs> Hey, Moon, how's it going? And then he made me do push-ups and stretches and drink water. Doesn't he know I drank last night and therefore exercise is not something I should do? Actually, I don't know if that's true. I mean, I have the joys of at least knowing how to, like, approach. Um, oh, that's something I wanted to... Uh, to mention so raise your hands in chat i got post an emote in chat whichever one you want if uh you have done the 
waiting for package to arrive at door, but kind of went about your day because you wasn't sure when it was going to show up. Emotes in response. If no emotes, then I will presume no. But if emote, then we are kindred spirits. <laughs> Ah, oh, such an unreasonable thing to do. There you go. Are you happy now, Twitch? That's that's that's, that's chat engagement that I'm doing. But um, yeah. So my mouse has been being a little bit funky, and I was looking around on how to try and fix it. And apparently, basically, one of the only ways to fix it is with like a soldering gun, I believe is what you call it. And like, I don't have one of those, so I'm like, well, fuck. I guess I'm just gonna buy. A new mouse because it's the basically the only way approaching like I'll tear the old one apart anyway and see what I can see what I can do oh, excuse me and uh... oh my god donates $30 if you agree stop it well I was supposed to get the mouse either yesterday or today it didn't come yesterday so I was like well it's gonna show up at some point today we'll see what happens so I went to bed. Like all new mouses, like new mouse would be cheaper and easier. I mean, to be fair though, Arrowhand, at least I could say confidently that I would know how to use a soldering, uh, is it a soldering gun or a soldering iron? I can't remember which one it is. Regardless, like, would still be neat to be able to be like, yeah, I can just fix my mouse sometimes. I can fix basic electronics. But yeah, so I went to bed late naturally and also thank you guys very much for the for the hype train yes thank you such strong support hype train complete level 2 11 percent two subs and 805 bits thank you guys everybody who donated bits bits thank you so much for everybody who subscribed it's very kind of you i appreciate it i'm very bad at expressing that gratitude because i don't know how to <laughs> And so I, you know, passed out and surprisingly the alcohol actually uh, kept me asleep. But then I heard a knock, knock, knock at the door. And now most of you, I presume, have experienced the following things. Either the knock at the door that's along the lines of, you know, we are just like, oh, there's someone there. Or that, like, if you didn't hear it, it's because I didn't touch my desk. <laughs> Those uh, freaking deliveries where they basically stare at your door for five seconds. They're just like, well, they didn't get here. I'm just going to put it on the ground. And then they leave. Well, I was woken up at, like, 11 a.m., by what I thought when I shot out of bed was an intruder trying to break down my door. <laughs> because it was like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and I'm just like, holy, like just shot out of bed. Just like immediately like put on pants and a shirt and just like rushed to that door to make sure that nothing should, nothing was happening. <laughs> And then I look out, and there's nobody there. And I'm like... Like, and I was just so, like, in, like, fight or flight that I'm like... What's happening? What do I do? Do I need to go? Do I need to do something? And then finally, all of a sudden, it's like, wait. Open door slowly. There's package. Hear the elevator door close a little bit off in the distance. And I'm like... Dude. <laughs> Why would you do that? On a Saturday, people are trying to sleep in. <laughs> you jackass. <laughs> and then right as I reached for my package, my neighbor came out and stared at me, and I stared back at them, and then we went our separate ways. Poltergeist, no. Just one of the meanest frickin' individuals. Uh, to deliver packages. 
But I got my new mouse. I haven't gotten to plug it in yet because it was basically I got it. Then I went back to sleep and then I woke up and then I watched Cobalt for a little while. And then all of a sudden was like, I am so late for stream because I haven't even done a single. Hold on. No, I need to do I need to do some drawing. See, look at this. Look at these doodles. We're just we're just practicing art right now. While we talk easy. Also noticing that it has suddenly just become weirdly more difficult to talk as soon as I started doing this. <laughs> it's almost as if practice is important. Honestly, kind of love that. I wear headphones 24 seven, so I miss a lot of packages from soft knocking. Wait, you love the idea of like the hard knocks? Cause I gotta tell you, it scared the frick out of me. <laughs> Although, I'd rather be woken up by FBI noises to get my parcel before it gets stolen again. But that's a me problem. I have luckily never experienced that error, when I think it's just because I normally never get packages. And when I do, it either goes to the post office or I'm already home. And since I'm a neat at the moment, I mean, I like technically can't say that I'm a neat because like, I do make a little bit of money off Twitch, but like, it's not living wages, you know? <laughs> Just like, oh wow, you do content creation for a living. Like, what does that pay? And I was like, well, like 50 cents an hour, maybe. <laughs> Someone gifted me a $300 CPU from my throne as a birthday gift and it was stolen by the mail. Even with the cat from the mailroom, even with the cameras up. God damn. I wonder if that's a bigger city thing. Or maybe like a US thing. I don't know if that's ever happened. I don't know if that happens as much in Canada. I can't say for certain, but. But wait, was like the culprit just in view? Like, just like, oh, wait, that's Ted from like. You know, like, four doors down. Hold on, let me freaking kick his door in and get my uh, CPU back. Uh, you can make them send another if it's on your porch, but you haven't picked it up and it's stolen. It's still on the sender. Really? So, ba wait, so Pavlov, is it basically as long as it doesn't enter your house, it's on them? Like, the m until you open the door and physically touch that box, it is basically out of your hands, essentially, if I'm understanding that correctly. Basically, uh, you have to have it, not just have it uh, on your property. Okay, I think that's honestly fair, because, again, the amount of people that... Or the amount of footage you see where people just kind of casually walk up to someone's porch and just take their box and leave. I don't know if we have access to the footage and the landlord doesn't care. Had to file a repeat... Police report, request, physical copy, waiting for mail to give to Throne to pass to Amazon to hopefully get replacement. You'll probably get it, Arrowan. It's still shitty that you're like, oh, how exciting. No, you know, like, oh, let's add like another like two months to this wait, but you'll probably still get it. Like they don't even know what's in it. Just leave the package alone. Blue, I'm so much in the same, where it's just like, why would you bother? Just let people have their stuff. <laughs> like, I presume in some cases, uh, people do it uh, from a situation of um, low income, where it's like, whatever is in this, if I can't use it, I can resell, you know? Just to have a little bit of extra income in order to you know, pay for either, like, debts or food or rent, etc. But I think for a lot of people, it's just for the thrill. <laughs> Which, like, 
bothers me. I don't know if that's a fair statement, because I don't really know people, because, you know. People confuse the hell out of me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing some drawing practice to start with while we're chatting. I get why people steal, but it still freaking sucks. Like, I'm poor and I can't afford food sometimes. I still don't steal my neighbor's food, so meh. Well, I guess you have to start now, Erwan. You gotta continue the cycle of, the cycle of, um... I guess abuse in this regard. You know, someone stole from you, now you gotta go steal the neighbors. Though my neighbors, uh, my neighbors has stolen my food before. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Always good warm up before an art project. The problem is, Brian, I'm kind of doing it so that I have a second to ponder things over as well. I think I might also be doing the little like Adam draw or the Adams drawing because I've been listening to the to a podcast about the Manhattan Project. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, Adams, the nucleus, the power of splitting the atom, etc, etc. not doing a very good job of it but we're still there you go we got a couple practices and we'll do a couple of lines and then we'll see what we can do but yeah uh heck I had a thought, now the thought disappeared. Hold on. I'll zen my way back to the thought by just sitting here and just drawing lines over and over and over again. I like that I'm drawing lines now without looking at my screen. Just looking at chat. I hope that this is still working. I don't want to look over and see that it's really bad. I'm just trying to go off muscle memory right now, but I'm sure I'm slowly moving away <laughs> from what we're supposed to. It's finally time this theater thing is perfect to finally draw something. Cyber goth, I'm so excited. Oh hell yeah, Blue. Do it up. But then you also gotta make sure it's dynamic, which is something again, I'm not very good at dynamic. There you go. I do not remember my topic, unfortunately. Hmm. I think it may be gone. I don't think there's any hope. In that case, we'll move on to a new topic. How is everybody doing today? Are you guys excited for the weekend? For those living in America, are you guys ex excited or not excited for July the 4th? Are you going to celebrate or are you not going to celebrate? And if so, why or why not? If you're willing to share, of course. I understand for some people it's just like, bah, it's just noise. You know? And then for other people, it's just like, I'm going to literally get a firework so big that I'm going to blow all my fingers off. Yeah! <laughs> Living in America ain't great right now. Doesn't mean you can't celebrate still, you know, Pavlov? Though it sounds like that is very much correct, unfortunately. I'm sorry to my, uh, to the peeps to the south. I hope that things start to go in a right direction soon. Ugh. Also, though, for those who are going to be celebrating July 4th, please make sure that you're taking care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Eat some carbs prior to drinking, should you choose to, to drink. Because, you know, there's nothing worse than a hangover. Okay, well, there's a lot of things that are worse than a hangover, but, like, a hangover sucks in its own right, you know? Remember, if you drink enough, you become immune to fireworks. Is that how that works, Pavlov? And also, Blue, I'm sorry to hear about the dog. 
Ran into some heavy traffic trying to go, uh, trying to go for ice cream. Ended up turning my car around for lunch and ice cream instead. Instead, because by the time I got the ice to the ice cream place, it would have been lunchtime anyway. Hell yeah, Brian! You're just like to heck with this. It ain't worth it. If you eat fireworks, uh, you have to eat fireworks to become immune to that. Bells, are you into homeopathy? Is that what this is? Bells, you have to you have to tell me. Are the crystals in the room with us right now? <laughs> they would have diluted in or alcohol. Don't forget Pavlov. It was also a weird amount of alcohol. I just love that too. It's just like, man, homeopathy was is so cool. I just get to drink alcohol and feel better. It really works. And it's just like, no. <laughs> I've been listening to a podcast about homeopathy recently. And like the early stuff, the like begets like. Mixed with, uh, I don't remember what the second one is anymore. But they did the diluting thing. And the diluting thing is so just nuts. Like, it's just so crazy. Because the uh, for those who don't know, the original homeopathy, the guy who invented the concept, um, he believed that the way to defeat sicknesses is to treat the patient with those sicknesses with um, treatments that would cause the same symptoms. So, for example, there was a specific type of root that was very close to... Uh, I can't remember what the heck it was anymore. To a specific type of sickness that he had. It would it would cause a very similar reaction to him. Uh, when he ate this root. And he realized like, oh, what if this treats it? So a bunch of people died, unfortunately, because of his ideas. And then he was like, well, what if we dilute it? Like, what if we dilute it a lot? And by a lot, I mean, like, imagine a, like, stadium, like a football stadium. Fill the entire thing with water and then put one drop of the stuff in there. Then mix it and take a bottle out of it. Exactly what Pavlov just said. It's one to the 1,005 times. So it's so diluted that literally not that's not even a molecule left. And yeah, so basically what was happening, people were getting better because of these treatments. Do you want to know why they were getting better because of these treatments? Because the doctor was basically just giving them water or alcohol, whichever one it happened to be. And most of the time it was water. So you know what your water like what your body likes? It likes to be hydrated. So, when you're feeling gross and sick, what's a good thing to do? Be hydrated. <laughs> There's a little bit of a placebo effect to Eruan, but I'm pretty sure it was mostly just literally just people in like the... So, what was this? This was like 1700s? Or the 1800s technically? But like... Literally just like, yeah, so you want to know a crazy way to, like, help the human body? Drink water. <laughs> Sorry, 4th of July is fun in my neighborhood. Literally, don't have to leave the house to see fireworks. I pity the people who can't deal with noise, though. Oh, failure by winning. I feel the people who can't handle noise. I hate fireworks from a noise perspective. From a visual perspective, I think they're neat. But from a noise perspective, I'm like, earplugs, headphones, <laughs> and then a blanket over my head. Boom, can't hear a thing. Holiday weekends are rough on my end. We get swamped with, uh, with bennies? Whenever there's a major holiday. I don't know what bennies are. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there was any evidence that your body... I don't think that there's any evidence that your body likes water. Pavlov, how dare you? I bonk you now. Hope that came. That sound came across. 
I mean, we're made of like 80% water, so we want to replenish that. Exactly. Oh, sorry. Why would we want to replenish that? I was about to say, where's the sarcasm? Missed a word. I missed a word. It was an amazing hearing, and it feels like a curse sometimes. It can be. It can be. Uh, as a dog owner, I also hate fireworks. That's true. Dogs don't like fireworks. <laughs> I hear that 100% of people who drink water die. Yeah, you want to know who also dies 100%? People who don't drink water, Bells. Those are like... It's a correlation, not a causation. <laughs> Makes me think of... What was it? There was a correlation. Oh, what was it? It was this really strange... Uh, oh, what was that weird correlation? Sorry, I need to look this up really quickly because it's it genuinely is a uh, strange correlation. There you go. So there is a very strange correlation between the number of people who die by being tangled in their bed sheets and the uh, per capita cheese consumption in the U.S. They are very, very close. They have nothing to do with each other, but they are very, very close close in terms of graph wise just literally look up strange correlations and i think it's like with the first link just to see some really weird things sounds like they must must be related bells please bennies uh is a pejorative term for folks of the jersey shore <sighs> excuse me Oh, uh, on the uh, that folks on the jersey shore used to describe certain breeds of obnoxious tourists oh no one of the few times that I'm glad my dog is all, is mostly deaf. All the fireworks in the world wouldn't disturb her. Well, there you go, Erwin. You get to just live that best life right now. <sighs> Bells. Bells. You're in school. Please, don't be this person. <laughs> it hurts me. <laughs> Learned something new today from New York City, and to me, Benny's is slang for benzo drugs. So I'm like head tilt. Benzo drugs? Wait, benzo is in like, uh, how to say it, like cough medicines? I think that's benzo, right? I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. There's a lot of times during the day where I'll think of something and it's just like, man, I don't know a lot of stuff. Bebzoa? I don't know what... Oh, sorry, Benzoa. Benzos, like Xanax, is... Oh! Wait, Xanax is like a freaking chill-out drug, right? Like, it's like uh, an anti-anxiety medication of some kind. Or it's supposed to be, at least. Yes, it is. Alright, thank you, Moon. I appreciate that. It's a downer. Oh, man. So you can use... Wait, you can use Xanax for a freaking speedball? What? What? Now, my question to people who might know, um, can caffeine be considered an upper? Because it is like, you know, it's a big old, it's a big old booster. Or does it have to be something more like cocaine when it comes to like the speedball concept? Mostly because once upon a time, I took some, tea, uh, I took some THC oils to try and chill out. And I just happened to have drank a whole lot of caffeinated tea earlier before. And holy shit. Don't ever do that. It will ruin you.
And by ruin you, I mean it will hit you so freaking hard. Yeah, it was awful. It's like, man, I just wanted to relax. I didn't want to be like numb and freaking out. <laughs> Benzo is short for, oh god, Benzo diadepines, which is a depressant. Which is depressant meds like Xanax and Valium, which will calm you down. But if you have anxiety, if you have anxiety, but are usually often abused for the high. That yeah, sounds about right. Caffeine is considered an upper yes. A stimulant, but speedball is like Adderall and cocaine. I still feel like a ca caffeine could still do it in smaller quantities. And it's, it's like a small ball. <laughs> Oh, I was fine, Blue. It was more just like... I don't know if anybody here is, like, partakes in, like, like marijuana at all, but, like... Sometimes you can be like, yeah, yeah, I can take, like, three puffs of a joint. And you're just like... Eh. <laughs> just kind of slowly lay back in a chair. My, uh, my roommate used to have to deal with me because I'd be like, all right, because because of my insomnia, sometimes I will use, um, I will use marijuana to, you know, as a sleep aid. It will, it will calm me down enough to, like, let me go to sleep. The problem is, is when, uh, my roommate was here, sometimes I'd be like, man, I'm high. I kind of want to talk to roommate. And then I'll just, like, sit there in his room talking to him, but I have, like an eight second attention span. So I'm like forgetting what I'm talking about, but I'll just like keep talking to him about stuff. Just like, man, you know, it's just, isn't it crazy that like this, this, and this, it's just like, I wonder what the difference is between P uh, but to, what the difference is between the people who call alien species versus races. And then I'm just like talking about what the heck that actually means. And like what that might d display about the person who's saying it. And my roommate's just sitting in his bed, just like, Man, I'm way too high to even pay attention to you right now, but I appreciate you talking. <laughs> and I say, if you're reading this, I w uh, this I worked in the medical field. I know all this for science. Everyone, I have questions. Absolutely, if you're not accustomed to caffeine and take a lot, yeah, it'll fuck you up. It will! That's why I don't like caffeine that much. Why am I getting hit by po Oh! You know what? That explains it. I was like, man, I thought I was being pretty good, pretty, like, on point to it, but no. It's Liar. Hello, Liar. I can't draw and I don't know what to draw, so, hello. I hope that you're having a good day today so far. What drug questions do you have? I don't have any drug questions. They were, how to say it? They weren't drug questions, they were high questions. You know, like, man, is an Oreo actually just considered a sandwich? Here's all the reasons why that's probably true. I'm gonna go eat some Oreos. <laughs> I wish I was the kind of stoner who came up with cool ideas. All I do is eat. One good thing Pot ever did for me was diffuse my ADHD and made me an excellent raid healer. Hell yeah, Ruan. ADHD healers. Bonk. Uh. First of all, hello, Mandalorian. And I feel like I've missed a message from you somewhere. Played a bit of VR, I got physics, and graphics are really good and pretty smooth. Nice, my dude. I'm glad that your VR start is working and that you're having a good time. Uh... Draw scribbles until your brain thinks of something to draw. Well, here's the thing, though, liar. I have an idea of what I want to draw, but I can't draw it. I don't have the skill to draw it, and I know I don't. And I'm just going to try. If I do try to draw it, I'm just going to get upset. So there's no point in me trying to do that idea because I'm just going to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> 
thanks, Blue. <laughs> it's not a bad mindset, Liar. That's a healthy mindset because I'm not letting myself get mad by getting frustrated. Do the idea accept the failure as a possibility. No, because I know I can't do that. I know that's not how this works. I know that's not how my brain works. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to get frustrated. I'm going to eventually just be like, you know what? I'm going to just close the stream because I'm ready to throw my pen out the window. So instead of doing that and going through those awful motions, that's just going to make nobody happy. I'm just going to not do it. That's easier. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't had caffeine for ages. I've been weaning off caffeine for months. First of all, congratulations, Moon. I'm proud of you. Second of all, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, if you're calling a, sam uh, a cookie sandwich, calling it a cookie sandwich, I won't object necessarily. Fair enough. And Mandalorian, you do that in any COD game, though. Like, it's not that much different. Like, it's just... That's just how it is. It's a shooter. You go pew pew. Will, do you want to grow up? No! I want to, I want to exist miserably. That's better. Because anything that changes the norm is frightening and sometimes it's just better to be miserable because you don't know what's beyond the misery <laughs> sometimes you just gotta fail nope 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 although hmm Will, that was too real. I, I'm glad Haya's not here so that she doesn't give me a freaking, uh, a freaking just like, Will, why do you keep talking about such, like, weirdly sad things that I'm like, because I do? And that's when Haya freaking is just like, hmm, it's almost as if I'm here and I'll be like, damn it, Haya, get out of here. Why don't you go pet some, some quail, you Nerd. <laughs> you see? I'm scrolling down right now. That's why I needed a new freaking... A new mouse. There we go. Got it. Uh, why does violence... Uh, sounds always happen when I'm doing eyeliner. Uh, because everyone here somehow knows when you are need to focus, Arrowan. Guys, Will is giving bad art advice and I won't stand for it. I'm not giving bad art advice. I am telling you where my mind is at. I am being honest and I'm being vulnerable and in exchange people are throwing things at me. <laughs> Just a reminder of the situation right now. <laughs> the timing. Every time. It's amazing and hilarious. Yeah, I talk about something that it's just like, hey, this is how my brain works. And everyone's just like, time to beat them up. And it's like, and you wonder why I never talk of, it's, it's how to say it. It's, it's, um, there's a great scene, uh, a great, um, bit by Bill Burr where he's talking about how um, his wife will always question why he does things the way he does. And he'll be like, hey, you know what? It hurts my feelings because it feels like she's not listening to me. How many stories of childhood trauma do I have to tell her before she realizes this is what made me? <laughs> gonna draw Will facing his art fears. You can't. Learn to be nicer to yourself. No. Because if I'm nicer to myself, it might turn me into some kind of weird egotistical jackass and I'm not willing to go down that road. 
I'd prefer to be miserable and kind to people than to be kind to myself and be a pain in the ass to be around. Stop bullying my friend Will. <laughs> It's not true and you know it. I don't know it. I would like to say that that's a joke, but that is legitimately something that I am very terrified of. The idea of suddenly having like a self-esteem and then just being intolerable to be around. The thing is, I always feel bad when I didn't succeed drawing something, but kept doing it and eventually it was easier and I became good at drawing things. Yeah, but that's you, liar. You're an artistic genius capable of drawing some of the coolest, darkest things that I'm aware of. I once did an art collab stream with Kaji where we drew scary things. Mine was gross. His was frightening. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. I'm not allowing you to punch me just because I said something nice about you. Mm -hmm. Fine. How about this? We've already been going for almost an hour. I will go grab reference. And I will try to mimic the reference. I'll put it on one part of the screen and I'll draw the other side. I'll draw, I'll literally try to mimic it on the left. And I'll put it on the right. And then we'll do that so that I can practice. And then afterwards we'll do the actual art that I want to do. Fair? Is this acceptable? There you go. <laughs> now I gotta find some dynamic pose. If, uh, hold on. I know we're bullying well, but was. <laughs> yeah, hiya, you missed it. I was just talking about something sad that people said that I- that was too real. <laughs> you missed another, um... The heck was the term for it again? Truthfully and profoundly sad. <laughs> One moment, I'll go look for a cool dynamic pose. Ooh, here's one. Ooh, this one's cool. All right, I think I got one. Get more real, reach through the screen and rip our hearts out. I would never do that though. I only shared, I only occasionally share little inner monologues. And apparently those I'm not allowed to talk about anymore because they make Haya sad. Even though, isn't that what Arrival is supposed to do? I try to make her feel sad and she feels great. I'm a failure as a rival. <laughs> to quote Arthur for a second. No, please talk about the feel emotions. You're right. Time to slam the lid back onto that jar and put it to the shelf of anger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hopefully this works. There we go. All right. I want that one specifically. Ah, crap. It's going to be one of those situations, eh? What? I'm erasing, though. What could I possibly have missed? Fine. We'll do it this way. There it is. Target acquired. Now what? Ah. Farting so hard you fly. Hiya, are you okay? Did you get sleep last night? Perfect, all right. Wait, what? But I'm so confused. How are we still? Is there just like one piece here somewhere that I can't see? 
There must have just been one piece out there that I couldn't see. Sorry, the stuff bugs the heck out of me. It shouldn't. It's completely pointless, but it will drive me up the wall. Yeah. Actually, wait. I don't even remember what I said anymore. What the hell did I say? By the way, I'm sorry, by the way, Cobalt in hindsight. For saying things that are too real. <laughs> Whatever they might have been. So now that High is here, obviously I gotta, I gotta say them. No, 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 no! I'm talking about the, 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 the weirdly real statement that I made, and I can't remember what it was anymore. So that means you're just naturally like this High. Yeah, probably. High occasionally goes into. How would you describe it? Gremlin mode? If anybody's ever seen that gif, I think if you go like Diva Overwatch Gremlin on t uh, Tenor on like Discord, you'll find something and it's just like, I think that might be higher sometimes. <laughs> just doing the little like, <laughs> I'm gonna commit atrocities. <laughs> While still in my PJs. <laughs> I think it was getting dark and I was like, oh, too real. Was it getting dark? I don't remember, Cobalt. I don't remember what I said. Cobalt, you have to be brave and remember what I said. This looks really difficult to draw. This is a terrible idea. Why am I trying to do this? This is a terrible, awful idea. An awfully terrible idea, if you will. Liar thinks I'm like this all the time because it activates when I see Liar. Ah, Liar is the catalyst to the action. Got it. I don't think I'm brave enough. Cobalt, you are brave. You were told you were brave by a video game. I have called you brave on several occasions, I'm pretty sure. You're brave enough. I believe in you. I bring out the best in people. Joke's on you, liar. I don't react any differently when you show up. <laughs> liar sighted. The time for gremlin. Cobalt, you are the bravest people I know. Cobalt is the bravest person I know. See, Cobalt? See? Oh, no, wait. How do you draw torsos again? Oh, God. Um, it has been a very long time since I've last drawn a person. Because I avoid it. Because I don't like drawing people. Because I'm bad at it. <laughs> Be wave. Be very wave. Maybe. Maybe I really can be brave. Yeah, exactly. See, Cobalt, you get it. People, so why do I draw them? The human form is pretty difficult. Well, it's technically just shapes, right? Theoretically, you can be like circle, which turns into like, how to say it, kind of like a, an ice cream cone shape without a bottom. And then that bottom has like, a, has its own kind of a cone to it. Oh wait, that actually goes deeper because that's kind of the bottom of the pelvis I got an idea you need to become a vtuber duo where I'm a rabbit and you're a hawk I'm sorry I saw your hawk tweet also no people will make weird art true predator prey is a thing and it'll be weird 
maybe you could draw people you do like. It's what I do. Oh, that nah, blue can actually draw characters pretty well. Honestly, like blue has a nice art style. This is already too long. Ow, this is gonna this is gonna suck. Oh, I'm gonna hate every second of this. I already know it. Did someone say weird draw? Okay, what I do I Okay, what do I need to draw? What do you need to draw? Also, I feel like I'm missing some messages. Hold on. I just want to do more art streams, but they're analog, and I don't think people are very into them. But they're analog, and I don't think people are into them? Uh, if my viewer count is not lying, Erwan, it seems like people are kind of into them. Even though technically I'm not drawing right now, so that doesn't help. Analog being old school. Oh, I think people enjoy, uh, like, old school paper and pencil. Like, there's a lot of places that do that, but you're in digital. That's true. Doesn't make it any better. Your art's a lot better than mine is, Erwan. I've seen it. Watched a lot of traditional art streams. Boom! The evidence is mounting right now, Erwan. People do enjoy traditional arts. I watch people who test watercolors on YouTube. There you go. The evidence is piling up. Oh. The head is like actually. Joint, joint, no, no, they're a little bit further away. Joint, joint. Oh, it's like instant rage. It is just instant rage. <laughs> rage, that's the correct word. Just, it's immediately life drawing again. Oh, it's immediately, that, that freaking three years of life drawing, I think has damaged my capability to ever do art again. More than I could possibly even describe. Pretty impressive, honestly. I don't think there's uh, anything that would stop you from getting viewers with that. Being. Wait, people don't like art dra life drawing? Oh, operator. First of all, welcome operator. Second of all, oh my god. Oh, I hate life drawing. It was, it was so stressful. The amount of times that I almost frickin' shattered my pencils in half because I just wanted to leave that room. Oh, God. Recount your trauma for our amusement. Oh, okay. Let's see. There was once upon a time where uh, we started life drawing class. And we, there was a dude beside me who was a buddy of mine, like him and I got along pretty well, like early on during our program. And we had finally started with like an actual good life drawing teacher, because our first life drawing teacher was fine, but eh, not great. And, um, uh, how to say, we would start and like, him and I were on about the same level. Like we were both just like, well, how to, f how to, how does art, you know? And within about a month into that program, I had not learned a thing. I was just trying things and they were not working. And he was keeping up with the class. And I wanted to put my head through a goddamn wall every time I had to walk into that classroom. No, he was a great teacher. He was fantastic. He took me aside after class, before class. He gave me several lessons, like before, but like uh, before our classes, where he would help me with stuff. I just couldn't get it. 
I just couldn't get it. How many students were in the class? No, no, Laya, you don't understand. I was the only one he would take before class. I was the only one. Like, it would be an empty classroom. And would just... It would just be me and him. And he is a very, very good teacher. He's a very good artist. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. That's just how it is. <laughs> and I've accepted that. This shit, I'll never get there. <laughs> and I know that. Which is why I try not to draw people. <laughs> because they frustrate me. Because I don't get it. This is a real thing. You can do the whole, like, push the person up for the rest of your days. You can do it. You'll be fine. No. Some people just can't do things. I can't draw people. I've accepted that about me. <laughs> Will Insomnia, why can't you in into life? Because <laughs> it's just how it is. It was also stressful as fuck, and I just wanted to do well, and I couldn't do well, so. Yeah. I improved enough in life drawing that I didn't fail it, because our teacher specifically, um, because our teacher specifically graded us on improvement and not on skill level. Because it if it had been like, this is where you need to be, I would have never made it through that program. I would have never made it through those life drawing classes. I would probably still be there today. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> I'm often told my proportions tend to be off in places, and that's fine, Brian. Draw for the entertainment of it. I just can't draw people because it makes me want to rage. <laughs> Which is why doing this is me being like, all right, you want to see what happens when I try to draw people? Because I'll show you what happens when I try to draw people. <laughs> Oh my god, also, we need to take a quick break because it is Welcome. so hot. Oh god, hold on. Uh, Jojo. D Jojo the boy hero, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Uh, can I share two weird things uh, that I had to do to get myself to enjoy life drawing? Sure, I'm willing to I'm willing to listen to anything. It's how we were too. Oh, liar, it's so hot and I'm out of water. So after I read Operator's thing, we're going to take a quick break because I need to, I need more water and ice. <laughs> I am just, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every now and then I'll do take this shape. That's me wiping the sweat out from under my nose. issue with art and drawing is that it takes a while to get situated with such a that's probably another thing the first uh, weird thing I do I stopped imagining they were people I looked at them uh, looked at the form rather than the person it removed some of the anxiety I understand that one that is one that I can get I think the Simpsons did that as well when Marge was learning art she started breaking um, Pavlov. That is not helpful. <laughs> Gonna just say that right now. That one's not helpful. Uh, second thing I imagine draw uh, my drawing pad is a 3D space uh, made for the brain for my charcoal. Uh, my charcoal as a sculpting tool. Yeah, you're talking about like instead of drawing, looking at the page like this. You're looking at the page kind of like this in a way, right? Where... Well, we need to make sure that those lines are there. They're not important, but now they need to be there because they're part of the drawing. kind of thinking of it more like that right where like it's an actual like box or room that you're like well if I draw a thing here no that's already bad perspective it's like oh well it goes like this 
and it goes there, so the circle at the top can only be about that big. So if you put another circle here, and then put it up and such, and then it also has about that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think that allowed me to divorce myself from my usual drawing anxiety. Well, I'm glad that you've managed to do it, uh, Operator. Like, I'm glad that you're capable of doing that. And, like, I've seen your art. Your art is great. I love your art. 3D space in my mind that I draw. Uh, drawing is feeling the surface of that. I wish I could do that, liar. That sounds neat. <laughs> Try to follow the more anime style. I am terrible at realistic faces in two. Uh, I draw heavy influence from uh, Patrick's past. I don't know if that... Hold on, they are... Cover artist. Oh, okay. Started... It starts at a, an undefined depth of space, and I just mold it into the drawing and pen did. Then it becomes a diorama. I haven't done life drawing in years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What? You draw... I'm pretty sure you draw all your... Like, your character, like, your your VTuber model was made by yourself, if I recall correctly. And all of the art that you do for your schedules is done by you. Like, there you go. Very sleepy, so I will sadly have to go to bed, but want to say hi. Hey, Solarcy! Also, Solarcy, be prepared for a DM tomorrow. Remember, just be prepared. We have things to talk about, things to discuss, and also have yourself a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate having you here. It's very difficult to learn and even more. And even now, I'm not able to perfectly do it, but that's what allows one to be, uh, to do textures without thinking about them consciously. Also, speaking of which, uh, Bells, can you do a shout out for action points for me really quick? I'll be on time one of these days so I can hang out for longer. <laughs> oh, come on. I was, okay, I was about to say, like, really stream elements. Are you going to be a bitch right now? Yeah. Overall, so everybody should check out Operator, also known as Action Points. He's been playing a lot of... Tears of the Kingdom right now, but he does all of his own art. So support him. <laughs> Do the supporting thing. Supporting is good. <laughs> we'll go get water. Oh my god, I forgot about the water because I got... It's a bit slow uh, slow today. Sorry, folks. No, 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 Bells. That, uh, you, literally, you have no power over this. This is just stream elements slowly dying day by day. All right, but yes, we are going to take a quick break. We're basically going to join Solarcy with a, with a farewell as we take a quick break. So, we're going to take a quick five to ten minutes. If you can and are able to, I hope that you guys get up and stretch. Grab yourself something to eat. Grab yourself something to drink. Make sure that you guys are taking care of yourselves. I will be back in five to ten minutes. I'm going to run ads, so just, you know, if that's not something that you're interested in, just alt tab for like three minutes or whichever it is that you do. And I will see you guys in a little bit.
It's me. It's chat. Hello, chat. Alright, let me quickly check and see if I'm, uh, I missed a couple messages. I'm just going to try to scan through them really quickly. And also, hello and hello. Okay. I think it was mostly you guys chatting with each other, which is fantastic. I very much enjoy it when you guys are chatting. Wait, no. Wait, no, I'm not. I forgot my water. <laughs> That's when I look over and my water's not there either. And it's like, I'm going to need to be right back. <laughs> I said I was back, but I lied. Go. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Have a good lurk, Haya. Also, wait. Dang it, Haya. I just remember what it was. But never mind. Have yourself a good lurk. All right. Ah, no. <laughs> wait. What? What is it? Oh, it. It wasn't super dramatic or anything. It was just. I can't remember exactly what triggered it. I think. Uh, Liar asked if I wanted to be like a big strong artist like her and I responded with something along the lines of no because when uh, change is scary when you have have a uh, change is scary when you've lived in misery for long enough any kind of a difference is more frightening than just misery itself I believe is roughly what it was what I was trying to say and cut you hello Good the morning, friendo. How are you doing, bud? I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're feeling okay. You better be feeling okay. You hear me? Hmm? I'm gonna bring the mic a little bit closer. You better be feeling okay right now, bud. I don't accept anything else. Sir! Sir! Go drink some water. Go eat something. Go hug your rice cooker and tell it that you love it. <laughs> Okay, look for real. No problem at all, Hyatt. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay. We've done a circle. That's uh that's that's a good start. I feel like I wanted to say something else and now I can't remember what it is. Oh I can't believe I forgot that already. Guys, I think there's a little spider living in my uh in like the uh what do you call it? Like the little air duct thing in my bathroom it's like a tiny little boy up there i'm pretty sure and now i'm like well now i can never turn that fan on what do i do it's just he just kind of was like oh <gasps> and then he ran away again and i'm like well i can't turn it on he'll die but also i have like no bugs in my apartment so i don't know what he's doing in there <laughs> congrats congrats on the new pet he made his choice. Vitrify, no! Oh, I'm going to hit that button anyway one of these days and I'm going to forget. You know, like, it's just one of those, like... I, look, I forgot between coming from the bathroom to sitting here that he was there. So there's a very good chance that even somehow tonight I'm going to accidentally hit that switch and be like, Oh, it's too late. Cooks, hello, how's it going? How are you? Happy Canada Day. I don't think you're Canadian, but happy Canada Day regardless. And happy super early 4th of July. <laughs> Sorry, I was just doing a quick scan. Burn the whole building down. No, he was a dinky little boy. I think at least. I'm pretty sure it was a little spider boy. It looked like it. Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. I have to draw a person, though, which I'm not happy about. Who are you drawing? I'm drawing this. <laughs> I'm trying to mimic it. Is it Haya? Is this Haya to you? I mean, maybe. Who knows? Maybe Maya ha or Maya. Maybe Haya has freaking, like, I don't know, like, tree trunk, like, freaking legs. She's an AI. She can be anything. Ooh, that's a good point. 
unrelated. Do you guys ever eat sugar just to feel disgusted with yourself? There was a show called According to Jim where one of the where Jim's brother Andy dis, uh, showed him the power of sticking a stick of butter onto a stick and rolling it in sugar and then just eating it and he called them shame sticks. <laughs> So, I myself have not done that, but I'm aware of it. Because of the heat and smoke, I'm basically just stuck inside eating ice cream, unable to exercise for like the last four days. Just do the most like basic exercises. Like lay on your back and just like bend your knees upwards and keep your feet off the ground. It's a very, very light core workout. It will not base it basically won't do anything, but it will make you it will just do very, very slight. Um just a very, very light exercise. Alternatively, do that, but um you lay on your back, you lift your feet up and make sure that your knees are bent 90 degrees, like they're 90 degrees from your body, and then just start doing motions with your feet similar to like pedaling a bike. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's basically a, uh, it's like a core and a light leg workout. You just really slowly just do, you know, you basically, oh, that's the eraser. Nope, that's the wrong one as well. You lay down on your back, this is bed, and you knees up like so, and then you basically just do like these kind of shapes. You just do that and just have them bicycle crunches is that what they're called because if so yes they're pretty easy to do they're not particularly difficult but you'll still be doing something you know but you want to offset your feet obviously offset them as if you were pedaling a bike okay good i thought i was on the wrong layer for a second All right. I really don't want to do this, but I'm gonna do this. Oh, I didn't think. I was thinking of something different. Don't mind me. Well, now I gotta look up what bicycle crunches are. Oh wait, aren't bicycle crunches when you bring your elbow to your knee and bring the and then switch? No, I'm sorry. This is, this is the ADHD talking liar. I assure you, this is not. Bicycle crunches. Yeah, bicycle crunches suck. I used to do them all the time back in the day when I was mildly in shape. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Let me do this there. Don't worry, I'm not stalling because with chat. Just that that triggered a thought process, and I'm like, what the heck are bicycle crunches again? All right, I have an idea, and this is a terrible idea, and I shouldn't do it because it's just gonna make me upset in a different way. Because we all know it will. I don't care if you guys think that it won't. You all know it will. There, we're gonna ruler our way through this. Working on too many details for no reason. Shoulders, and then you have the deltoids. And you have the triceps, which lead to the elbow. Already too long. All of it is already too long. Oh, why did I decide to do this? This was a terrible idea. Uh-oh. 
don't have enough room. And I'm way too far already. Strap yourself in, ladies and gentlemen, because it's just going to be deleting and redrawing and deleting and redrawing for the next hour. <laughs> and it's never going to stop. Could someone say an animal, please? Parakeet. <gasps> Luna D, hello, how's it going? How are you? How was your stream the other day? I was taking a peeksy poo in there when uh, Avatar, Avatar raided you. And uh, it seemed like your teammates were not the most helpful when it came to trying to get things done. <laughs> Now the worst part of it all, actually doing the the correct shapes, which is then the deltoids, which then lead into the. You calm the fuck down, water. Calm the hell down. We won in the end. I was proud of myself. Hell yeah, my dude. I'm glad to hear it. I was peeking in and out. I had a couple of other things to do, unfortunately. But it looked like you were... You were... At least you were doing something. I just remember at one point you were, like... Pushing, like, a, a ride. With, like, some dolls and stuff in it. And you had to get them into a grinder. And then an enemy showed up. You were running around. And your teammates were all there. But, like, no one was pushing it? It was very just like, what the heck? is going on right now I was judging very harshly not you the peeps you were playing with and it was like can someone just push that please 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 hey Spencer how's it going this particular part doesn't even matter I don't know why I'm drawing it I think just for me to be able to comprehend some of this stuff. Because there's the collarbone. Happy Canada Day, by the way, Spencer! This is too low. I'm goofing somewhere. I think the head's also not low enough. Uh. shape is fine it's just not low enough there we go it's coming along you have no idea how much i want to delete this right now <laughs> you have no idea oh i just want to burn it to the ground and then be like hey right, we had a good chat today all right bye everybody being way too self-conscious you have no idea what is happening internally right now <laughs> you 
You don't have head pets, you can only bonk. Good. Strike me down. One moment. Ugh. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm sweating so much right now that I actually just have a towel that I'm just wiping my face with. Yes, yes, you're all very, very amusing. Oh, it's all moon. Ah! Strike me down with all your hatred, exactly. That way I could finally take a nap. Just take off your shirt. Who's to say I'm wearing a shirt right now, Blue? Wonder if it helps. If people saw all the time. Something what I drew as well. I feel like everyone is self-conscious about things. That's a normal part of the process. But... I'm not other people, though, liar. I'm me. <laughs> You know, from the perspective of the solipsist, I cannot prove that any other person in the universe exists apart from myself. And therefore, the only person that I can be critical of is myself. Wait, are we doing getting into philosophy today? Every now and then, Cobalt, I go back. There, I had this weird thought the other day. Because, you know, I used to have a friend in high school that when they learned about solipsism, they just became very obnoxious about it. They're just like, yeah, it doesn't really like matter what other people think because they don't exist. And I'm just like, hey, whatever gets you through high school, I guess. But I love the I love this really strange idea of like, solipsism being a thing but like everybody is their own solipsist you know what i mean like everybody can't prove that other people exist the way i kind of think about it in my head is the kind of like imagine like uh in like mmos where they have areas where like they have like pocket zones where people can spawn in and then spawn back out again like they go into these different zones it's kind of like that where like whenever you're within a certain range of people for a short period of time, um, the people that are within range of you are actually other solipsists, but whenever they disappear from a certain range of you, they just, like, basically, like, it's like the equivalency of, like, you know, like, range in, like, video games. You know when, like, a, uh, when a, a character has, like, really, really good animation, but once you get past a certain distance, you start noticing that it starts dropping frames? It's kind of like that, when it starts, when it goes beyond a certain point, that, like, solipsist energy, like, leaves that particular, like, NPC, so to speak, and it just, like, goes off to just do its mundane things that it does. I don't know. I was just thinking about it randomly the other day, just like, huh. I mean, it's weird, but you could probably go somewhere with it philosophically. A glimpse into the random thought processes of Will. Kindly ignore him. He's not thinking about anything important. No, it goes down more. Kind of like that, I guess, in a way. Sort of. The knees aren't high enough. I would buy that book. <laughs> It's not a book, Blue. It's just a dumb little idea that crossed my mind. Welcome to my twisted mind. All right. Here's a bit of a raw thought, then. I think one of the other reasons that... Or, no, I know, but if I say I think, that it gives me liability to ignore the thought process... Uh, should someone respond to it. But, and also I did see that Hydrate Moon, I'll get it in a second. There is that innate feeling that eventually somebody is going to see your art and make fun of it. So if you immediately hate on your own stuff, 
their criticisms can't harm you anymore because, to quote something I've said before, nobody can hurt me more than I hurt myself. <laughs> And chat makes commentary about this in three, two, one. Well, there was supposed to be a message there. Well, I'll try the countdown again. Three, two, one. Well, you guys just are not playing along right now. <laughs> Uh, Will, if someone made fun of your art, I would personally end them myself. Okay, but that doesn't matter, though. It's the, how to say it, it's the perceived th non-existent threat, I think is essentially, um, is essentially the thought process. There is the potential that someone will jump on shit that you make because I have a lot of paranoia and a lot of mistrust and a way too many trust issues. So I can absolutely just in my head, it's just like, yeah, yeah, just jump on it yourself. That way nobody that, you know, no one can hurt you if you're the one striking yourself down, so to speak. I'm not saying it's healthy. I would never say that. I acknowledge it's not healthy. But it's the thought process. Also, I didn't do the hydrate. I'm sorry. Oh, and there's a stretch too from Cobalt. Cobalt, I'm sorry. Let me do that stretch real quick. All right. And up. Oh. I think it's best to just view things objectively. Uh, objectively is difficult. And subjective, right? A paranoid mind normally doesn't know that it's paranoid. That's the wonder of the human mind. I've definitely been in that headspace, especially when I get more into commissions rather than hobbies. I can understand that, Moon, especially because at that point you're doing it for an income, right? It's being done professionally. Oh, I'm sure people have made fun of my art as well, and that's okay. See, you can handle that. I don't handle criticism very well, for some reason. Eh, it depends on the criticism. And neither is self-hate or self-delusion uh, are productive. Well, that's also true, but, uh... When you presume that the world is ready to stab you in the back the moment that you are happy... Why be happy? There we go. And we shake our wrists out. Let me see. View yourself as someone who's flawed but learning. I can do the first part, liar. Does that count? I'm a bigger threat. I'm just gonna need some names. Uh, people are being malicious. The only one they're mocking in the end is themselves. But likewise, you shouldn't be afraid of the idea that your art isn't. You shouldn't be afraid of the idea that your art isn't as good as it could be. Well, my art is never as good as it could be, liar. Every, you know, the, the trials of being an artist is literally just an endless staircase, right? with the occasional uh, plateau where you get to just sit and be miserable with the fact that you're not doing any more leg day workouts <laughs> until eventually you start taking the stairs again. Let's be frank, some people, uh, some gross people will make fun of your art uh, or your art, um, or your art, or your art, matter what. Oh, no matter what, gotcha. Uh, if there's a, gr a group of people there will be a couple of bad apples. True. Uh, the best thing to do is to be your best, uh, to be your best proponent than opponent. 
I don't know about that one. <laughs> you ever tried yelling at yourself and punching yourself in the face? It's pretty productive. I'm getting pillows for that one. I know I'm getting pillows for that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, worth it. Worth it. I didn't even know I was going to say that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, I'm hilarious. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that I'm funny? <laughs> See? I'm either mean to myself and I'm nice, or I'm nice to myself and I'm intolerable. Is that two stinky notes? That is two stinky notes, all right. I don't know if I can make this one work, Bells, but I'm going to try. That's the best I can do, unfortunately. Oh, you're fine, Moon. I'm catching one. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Alright, there you go. There's my stupid attempt at it. And it's not good. The feet should be over here. They should be tilted down more. They should be been reaching up this way more. But, well, actually, if we just go... Oh, that's right. It doesn't let you do that. This is very irritating. I wish that it would just let you do it on one side and then just rotate it and then it just rotates on both sides. But I don't know how to set that up, so. So we just won't do that. We'll just accept what we have and move on because we still have to do fashion. We haven't done fashion yet. Hey, Stitches, how's it going? And thank you for the hydrate. Very much appreciated. What do you mean, Will? I just want to rotate this a little bit. I don't want to redraw it. That's annoying. Accept what you have and give another attempt tomorrow. But we're not done yet, liar. We have three topics. We have brilliant. We have dynamic. And we have fashion. Now, this one we've done. We're missing these two. And that's a problem. Because I do all three. So, what we're going to do... This is going to be really, really dumb. <laughs> We're just going to keep this. I don't give a shit if Kaju's just like, why is it only a sketch? Heck you, that's why. But what we're going to do Hold on. I need to grab some reference just to make sure that I can do this properly. Oh, those were the themes of Kaju's Art Week, right? Yep, exactly, Brian. You know what's up. How are you, by the way, Stitches? How's your garden going? How is the garden? Oh, I can't spell for shit. God damn. All right. So here's what we're going to do. This is going to be so stupid. <laughs> Let me just move 
this here so that I have my reference. I'm not going to do this too well, unfortunately, because cloth is not my friend. And liar, you stay out of this. I get that you know how to do cloth well, and I'm very happy that you can. I can't. And that's just how it's going to be. Hear me out, chat, all right? Just hear me out for a second. Already gave. You already gave an attempt, and I gotta push you yourself today. All right. So hold on. <laughs> He's graduating. Blue knows already what I'm doing. Unrelated, but has anybody seen this studio trigger announcement? PS I don't know what PSG is, liar, but please continue because I am very much down to hear and or learn what this is. Panty and stocking. Oh! Wait, really? Panty and stocking are getting a new season. After how many years? Haven't heard of this anime before. That's not too surprising, Bells, because it's like. Uh, it's. It, how to say? Like, it's a little bit more risque. <laughs> like, if I recall correctly, it was a good anime. It was very strange and silly. But it was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was com it was a it was comedy. Like it was a very silly anime. And that's all it needed to be. Just 
just the simplest of shoes. The art style, but it was a Western like uh, cartoon style, very, uh, very uniquely visually. Yeah, like for a while, I thought it was a Western cartoon. When I first saw it, I was just like, oh, this is weird. Like, neat, but weird. And then it was like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> But yeah, it is definitely a little bit more risque, so. Ooh. Hold on. where everything was so I could still draw certain things. Oh, I didn't even draw the sides. <laughs> Whoops. And of course, I still need to draw his face. haven't seen it please look up the song fly away and I want you I can't say I know them unfortunately because the last time I watched panty and stocking was mm, a very long time ago and I didn't finish it ah that's what I'm forgetting to do I'm forgetting the actual divide of the pants oh not there Gotta, hold on, we actually gotta, we gotta do this a little different. <laughs> right, we gotta give them the... It would just be unreasonable if we didn't give him the diploma. Boom. There you go. Diploma man. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Ugh, oh, it's so dumb. The man has a degree and he's not afraid to use it, Bells. Hold on. Oh god, what's a thing that would show that he's a fashion degree student 
Like, what would this hand need to let you know that he was a fashion degree student? Like a pair of scissors, or... Looks like I'm not the only one graduating. <laughs> Pow! Pow! Bang! Zing! A knife! <laughs> I was thinking about a knife at first, Bells, but I don't know if I can justify it. But it's a funny idea. Oh, God. I'm sweating. Well, Blue. You seem to know the most about if a person graduating from uh, fashion school. What what do they have in their other hand? What goes in this hand, Blue? <laughs> a pair of scissors, some fabric, a big arrow pointing to him, saying how much dead is it. He's holding. Fa what does fashion mean? An entire sewing machine. <laughs> I'm looking, dropping by, but hello, happy Canada Day, Link. Thank you so much for dropping by. Ah, hope if you're going to celebrate that you have a good time. I want to eat the ice cubes in my drink. I do love the- hold on. No, Canada, put down the fireworks! We've have to! <laughs> okay, hold on. Looking up reference for a sewing machine. Bells, you've inspired me. don't want to buy a sewing machine, thank you. I just want to see an image of it. Thanks, Amazon integrated Google. You're asking too much, Blue. This is one thing that's ha that's staying in his hand. I'm not, I'm, there's no more detail being added after this. Oh god, under his arm, liar, that means I have to redraw the arm! <laughs> nah, I'm sticking to the sewing machine idea. That's easy, and then I don't have to think about it too much. Ah, oh, but the under the arm thing is a good idea, though. Ah, I hate this! This is why I don't draw shit. Hold on. sewing machine is easy. Yeah, the sewing machine is easy. It's just basically a really weird J. Putting it under his arm is weird. Oh god, he's carrying the sewing machine. To his le like, put a sewing machine right here, liar. Right here. He's just holding it between his feet. That sounds terrible. He's gonna freaking crash land that thing. No, he's not getting any face. He's not getting a face. He's not getting high detail. I'm not even gonna... I'm not doing more than this. I'm going to highlight him. I'm going to put a gray back... Or like a gray color behind him. I'm gonna put color behind behind him. And that's all I'm doing. As far as it's going. Because I don't want to do more. This is a gigantic step. But I'm trying not to be upset. So let me do what I'm doing. <laughs> There you go, that's what I'm looking for. The arm would be over like this anyway. So you'd only see this and this. 
in the sewing machine part, and then it would come back like this. And the arm would actually come around more like that. All right, we're trying this. where the arm would go, holding it in place. The fist right there, and then the flaps would be like so. Now oh, that'd be like one chunk that kind of like, be like that. this I hate to kind of show the arm though oh god I'm fucking this all up uh, this is why I don't add to things once it's already fine and thanks, Cooks. I appreciate it. I don't agree, but thank you regardless. And then you grab the soft eraser. Just to really thin out that that's the thing that we're doing to start with. Perfect. And then we need a hard. Oh, please, I was joking about the sewing machine. It's, it's, it's too late. It's too late at this point. I'm gonna hate it. It's gonna look really bad. I'm probably not even gonna submit this, honestly. <laughs> In hindsight, this is far too trash to actually submit. I'll just say I drew something and just be like, just believe me. This might have been a mistake. I should have saved beforehand so I could have recovered should I have wanted to, but uh, that option is now gone. So here we are, just accepting, just accepting what's happening, I guess. This was a terrible idea. I shouldn't have done this. I need to point out, I'm not saying this was a bad idea to you, Bells. I'm saying that me having taken it and gone with it was not a good idea. Throw baffle, throw baffle. Should have just accepted that I had something and that would have been fine. But I didn't, because I'm an idiot. I presume I can actually do things. isn't sitting right. If I do it like this. I got all the stroke baffles, right? I think there was two of them. Yeah, there was. Alright, let me do this to make sure that the leg is at least 
mildly over top of what it needs to be. Okay, let me see the crevices. Better start being that. That's not gonna happen. Nice try, nerd. <laughs> Say something positive about yourself. You see, liar, um, I have redeems that I can do. So doing that would just be a lie to myself. And I don't lie to me. <laughs> and to hell with it. Brush. What? No, not brush. That one. There we go. Is this the one I'm looking for? Yes, it is. No, that is not. It's this one. Bells, I'm going to have to have you refund that for a second. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to refund yourself that. Oh, oh that was the bet. I forgot to put the glove back on. I will be right back. One second. I'm sorry. I took the glove off. I was just sitting here like, why are these lines so much harder to draw than they were before? Right. Because I left the glove on the kitchen counter. I am a fool. But now I have it. I just got to put it back on. Because I had also inverted it by accident. And that was silly of me. Eh. Eh. There you go, liar. Are you happy? I use the glove. Smadge. Stay mad, Bells. It'll get you places in life. Let that anger fuel you. Let it allow you to move mountains and change the directions of rivers. Become the change that you want to be in the world. By brute force, if necessary. No, oh, something like that. Hold on. chat we're just gonna do some very very quick line art oh, in this case it would actually just drift into this wouldn't it it would just be a long okay well that was incorrect there still needs to be some weight and shape to it there still needs to be there's still a body under there that's moving and shifting Having a consistent shape to itself would be very strange.
All right. We need to, we can't forget about the little, and there's what, like a little thing right here that has like, <laughs> yeah. Had the first bump correct. Couldn't get that second bump correct, though. Also, I do apologize, everybody, for being a negative Nancy. This is just unfortunately where my brain goes when I can see things not going right. I go into a very fast state of self-criticism. Which I know is not healthy. I know that that's not how, that's not a healthy way to approach things. It's just very, very difficult to turn off. <laughs> Presume the dead si I well, I won't make any presumptions on the dead silence in that regard. I'm just happy that the peeps that are here are here. Whether they want to be or not. <laughs> I tease, I tease, I promise. Aw, oh, thanks, Bells. I'm trying to get better at it. It's just really, really hard. Thanks, Blue. I appreciate it. I wasn't supposed to come off a snide. That was not the plan. Of course, the knob, a very important piece. Without it, we are lost. And of course, the weird chunk at the bottom with the needle. And then this part actually has a little strip. There we go. My favorite. Is that what you want, liar? 
Oh wait, hold on. No, this is a missing one thing. There you go. <laughs> is this what you want? Is this what you want, liar? Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> Sorry, how do I delete a comment? <laughs> ah, the mysteries of life, liar. The mysteries of life. Where you're just like, wait. Wait, no, I actually regret that. How do I fix that? And then the mighty beings from above are like, <laughs> Oh, silly, silly person. You think you can get away from your decisions? Okay, that went well up until the end. What is happening right now? There we go. Will sleeps nah, but what does that even mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Those aren't real words. That's not traditional fire. Here comes the boy. Will sleeps maybe occasionally. Will sleeps maybe occasionally. Will sleeps maybe occasionally. Sometimes, Pavlov. Thank you so much for the uh, for the resub. It's very kind of you. Thank you. There we go. I even tried to incorporate some cloth physics into it, or some more proper cloth physics into it. Hold on, that means that actually needs to do this. And that needs to do this. No, that one's actually fine. It's not flawless f cloth. Would be better if we had done it this way. Let me try that again. Let me just let me just give that a one over, you know. And we'll do that. Wait, no, that'll be a straight line. Don't go through the line, you silly boy. There, not perfect, but it's something. Sewing machine in uh, in hand. Diploma in the other. This whole garb set up minus this. This is that's gonna that's gonna bug me so much. We gotta get rid of that. Goodbye. There. Tiny bit smaller. What the hell is happening? Why? Oh, this is how it's going to be. Okay. There we go. Boop. 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 G, boop, doop, and then above that we go boom, and we go, I should pull my microphone a little bit more this way so that people can actually hear me, rather than me talking away from the microphone, because that's not very smart, that's like the opposite of smart, we need the grid for a second, oh god, 
We need to hide you for a second so that I can actually calibrate this. So it's... Wait, why are you... Fine. Still not quite there yet, eh? Oh, probably 50. Or 500. There we go. Let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh no. So that's 2, 4, 6. I'm miscounting. That's the center point right there. Close enough. When you accidentally just casually find the center point. And then we're going to go like this. And let's see. You know what? Just for blue. No, we want the outside to be... Hold on. I'm sorry. we got to do some color theory. And I'm not good at color theory, but I think that it's technically like a green. So we're going to do kind of a, gr a, a dark green here. There we go. No, I don't like green. It's always green. Yeah, I don't really want to do green, though. I'll do more of like a teal. When you casually devour their eternal souls, thereby sustaining your life for one more day at the cost of eternity. Is it worth it? No. But it is what must be done. I am so confused. What you drawing? Ninja graduate or ninja graduate? A uh, fashion graduate man person. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I've drawn. But I drew it, and that's what's important. Oh, for this Pavlov, I'm just, I'm making a border. Because these damn programs just won't fill these lines. And if you do fill those lines, again, it starts looking bad and I don't like it, so... And you might be asking, Will, why aren't you just using a smaller brush? And I say, good idea. Thank you very much for the tip, random stranger. There, simple. Just a little so that it's not too big. Oh, it's specifically upwards. There we go. Just to expand it a little bit. And then we put lead in the middle. And we make a background for him, which is like a, a dark pink. What would be complementary to that? Maybe like a, a dark purple. Let's see what it looks like. Mm, go with a slightly lighter pink, I think. Technically, I need to make the bottom like a blue when we get that nice bisexual lighting. <laughs> the side here though so I think we're actually gonna darker blue 
Oh, first of all, I need to get rid of the grid. The grid is actually ruining the way that things look. Yeah, there you go. I kind of like that. Kind of like a nice dark blue. And then it's going to probably look like crap, but we're going to try it there. We make it black just to sharpen those edges a little bit. Flows into it a little bit better. And if we do this and this, and we take this color, and then we take this color and we make it just a little bit darker. And then we do the grids. Bam. Not right. No. Almost had it. No. Almost had it. Almost. Bam. There we go. Lighten it up just a tad. And then on top of this, we're just gonna do this really, really fast reference to other layers. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. I'm going to have to do some work on it because that's just the way that it's, that these programs work, but. afterwards that's easier there and that sash is like a white how am I doing so bad at this my goodness hands are still a little jittery from yesterday that's why hat I believe is technically supposed to be a little bit darker so we're gonna darken it up just a tad I don't think it's actually supposed to be darker but we're going to to make sure that it's distinguishable from the background is that a good idea is that a bad idea I don't know do I look like somebody who knows what's going on because I don't I'm just kind of doing this on the fly right now I'm hoping that it works Apologies if I'm missing any messages. Oh, Canada. Are you okay, Kaju? Do you need to drink some water? You probably need to drink some water. <laughs> we want this guy to wear black pants? No. What kind of pant color is he wearing? Hmm. Probably just wearing blue jeans. Yeah, there we go. Casual blue jeans. It's not quite blue jeans, but you can't stop me, chat. I want to get this done within the next few minutes. So I'm gonna. You believe in me? Why, thank you, Blue. I appreciate that. Blue jeans are so... I don't think they've ever not been in blue. <laughs> I don't know. But that's coming from someone who didn't wear blue jeans for a super long time and then one day got dragged to... Got dragged to go get blue jeans and then basically never stopped wearing blue jeans after that. But are they apple bottom blue jeans? Well, are they boots with the fur? Whole club looking at her and such. How did 
I get? Oh, I'm erasing by accident. That's what's happening. I'm like, what is happening right now? I am confused. P.S. I have no idea why I've chosen these colors. I just have. Jeans have been in since the 1800s. See, liar gets it. Ooh, wait a second. We gotta go with the. Gotta go with the channel colors. He was wearing an orange shirt underneath. We gotta weave in the. The channel colors a little bit. It's not me, Blue. Goodness gracious. Doesn't even look like me. <laughs> Sorry for not looking at chat for a second. I'm just... I'm like speed running this right now. sewing machine which is like a gray we can do gray relatively easily at least the basic shape of it is gray and then this spot right here is like a dark gray top of it so that it just adds a little bit of flavor to the general setup and you know what we'll put a slightly darker tinge on top of here too it's a fancy there you go wait no 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 no, no. we don't spill colors over the lines boom there you go Technically not done because it doesn't have any lighting, but I don't care. There's only one thing left to do. Because I'm not done yet. Oh, the scroll wheel. I can't wait to switch out this mouse for the other mouse. in the wrong hold on not the bold thank you needs to be about 20 there and we take that and double it
time. What were the other words again? Fashion. And then we take fashion, move it in the other direction, change it to, what's the other word? Dynamic. Boom. Let me take all of them, double them up, take the original. Letters have some depth. <laughs> there you go. Brilliant, dynamic fashion. Graduate. Wow. Can't see it, but I'm doing the jazz hands right now. But yeah, there you go. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I misclicked. Save, save as PNG, boom, done skis, we did it. I'm taking off, off the glove. Appreciate you guys sticking around even through my, <laughs> whatever the hell that was. It is strange, isn't it? It's so easy to get so frustrated in the moment and then you come out the other side and you're just like, I mean, I'm not happy with what I've made, but I feel like that could have been less painful. <laughs> ah, well. C'est la vie, as the French say. Alright, where are we gonna go today? That is the big, big question. Oh no. It's not happening. Oh no. Ah! Croissant? What about croissant? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where we're going to take our, our stream. I don't have... I have some choices, but like, do you guys have anybody that you would recommend at the moment? Do you have a streamer that you would like us to to raid at the moment, if you have a choice? Somebody that's online, obviously. There's nobody I know super well. I can always just go... Pumpkin Potion. Pumpkin Potion is huge, though, isn't she? Yeah, they're far too large for me to to raid. Are you out of your mind, liar? I'm a tiny streamer. I didn't see that she had three on there. Yeah, yeah, I've seen uh, pumpkin potions before. Pumpkin potion before. They are. They have such a cool model. I love their model. I know them because uh, Moa is more raided them. Makes sense. They do interact with people, though. True, but like also, as Blue said, we could raid Eruan because 
Why to heck not? Gotta support our fellow streamers, right? But if they're too big, that's fair. I don't know what too big is, liar. I'm a paranoid when it comes to stuff like that. When it's just like, well, I don't want to come across as like... Seeming like some weird, like, clout chaser or something, you know? Like, I just want to raid people because I want either to meet new people or because I want to support people that I already know. Like, that's that's where I usually am when it comes to doing raids. So, I think, Blue, you're right. I think we are going to do it. We are going to raid Arowan. I think that's the right choice. All right. So, first... Because I have to, because otherwise people are going to yell at me. Socials. Twitter, Discord, YouTube, VODs, ASMR. ASMR video is a new ASMR video is going to be coming out on Sunday. So tomorrow at noon my time, I think. I don't remember when I scheduled it exactly. But yeah, if you want to listen to me type on a keyboard for like 20-ish minutes, <laughs> enjoy, I guess. <laughs> Posture check. I can do that. Thank you, liar. And we are going to go ahead and raid Erwan. Pardon all the yawning. I am sleepy. I will enjoy. Then please do. But doom. We are going to go ahead and raid Erwan. If you are subscribed, please use the top raid message. If you are not subscribed, please use the bottom raid message. Obviously, if you want to use your own raid message, by all means do so. Just make sure it is wholesome and appropriate. All right. I am going to tap out because I need to spend the rest of the day hydrating and not dying from heat. So, everybody else, thank you guys very much for sticking around. Whether you were chatting, whether you were lurking, whether you just popped in and out for a second, know that you were super appreciated. Hope that you guys are having a great day. Cool afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time might have to be for you. Hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves, especially now since it's summertime, that you guys are drinking plenty of water, and when you finally do sleep, whatever time that might happen to be for you, I hope that you guys have a very restful sleep. And no, thank you, Brian, for being here. All right. Take care, beds, heads, and sleepy breads, and I will see you in the next or at the next sleepover. I can do words. It's on Tuesday. We're probably going to play more uh, Spiritfarer. Talk to you guys then. Thank you again for stopping by. And I'm sorry again for being a negative bum. Bye-bye.